Hey guys, welcome back. So the final declutter here in this series is going to be my Z palettes. So I've got quite a few Z palettes of individual shadows, um, ranging from face products to eyes. So I kind of wanted to clear these out because I have so many of these and I just don't get around to using all of them. And so many of the colors are very, very similar. So I kind of want to go through, swatch things that are similar, swatch things that I maybe have in other palettes potentially, and just kind of, some of these are just so broken and falling apart, and some of them I just never, ever, ever reach for because I'm just not a fan of the color anymore or whatever it may be. Um, plus some of them I've had for so long, I want to test the pigmentation. So I kind of want to get started with doing this, and I would like to start with the face products, I think. So that means, just want to double check, not that, and not that. Okay, great. So these are the two I have with face products in them. This first Z palette has got two of the contour powders from Makeup Geek, and two Tarte blushes, and a blush and a highlight from NARS. So I'm going to go ahead and really quickly just pull these out, because I'm not going to lie. I never really reach for the face products in these Z palettes. Now maybe if I had them in a smaller one that I could just reach for my favorites, it'd be different, but they're too big to fit in one like that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to swatch these two contour powders because I don't think I need both. Okay, so of the two I've got swatched here, I'd much rather keep this one. This is a little bit warmer. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Infidelity and I'm going to keep break up. I have the Albatross highlighter from NARS and it is a really pretty highlight but I know I've got ones that are just so similar that I think I'm gonna get rid of the highlight and I will keep this blush. Next I have Tarte blushes in Exposed and Seduce which I know are sold. I just depotted these. If you're someone who likes to travel with an assortment of blushes it's really great to depot them. Um, both of these still look okay. They're still normal pigmentation, so I am gonna hold on to both of these because I'd rather hold on to these, which are still sold in their, oh, whoops, which are still sold in their pans because I have this, which are all the Makeup Geek blushes. Um, I do have one MAC blush in here that I'm gonna keep. This is the one in Melba. Um, so I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna set these on top of here. And let's go through these. So this one I'm gonna get rid of, it's just too dark for me. This was, these are all Makeup Geek blushes. Um, and I know that they've reformulated and gotten rid of a lot of these shades. So actually what I'm gonna do on my phone is I'm gonna pull up the website and check and see which ones are actually gone now. But I'm gonna get rid of this because it's too dark for me. This was Covet. Let me see. And while I'm aware the packaging has changed, it's, as long as the shade is still made, that's all that matters. Okay. So, Bliss and Desire. I do have Bliss. I do not have Desire. Chivalry and Passion. No. Sweetness and Covet. Covet's the one I just got rid of over here. I don't think I have one called Sweetness. Summer Fling. And Spellbound, which Spellbound I do have. Okay, so all the rest of these are no longer made. So I'm going to go through and pick the ones that I really like the colors for and decide what to do with them. And I'm going to keep these also out with the other blushes I have in here because if any of them are dupes. So is this one too close to this? No, it's not. So this is the one in Love Letter. I like this one a lot. Um, I also do not have a True Baby Pink, so I will keep Promise Ring. I don't really wear this one in Infatuation. I also do not wear Puppy Love. I do wear Cherish. I don't really wear Rendezvous or Valentine. These two I kind of wear, but this seems a little similar to the MAC blush, so I'll get rid of that, keep that, and I'll keep this in XOXO. So let me go ahead and rearrange this all into here really quickly. These chart ones like really magnetize. It's kind of crazy. Okay. So 
we've decluttered that and we've got our new MTZ pellet. So this is gonna go right here now that it is done. Great. Now here's gonna be the next difficult thing to do is figuring out how many of these shadows and stuff still exist because some of these are older formulas. Um, I'm gonna temporarily slide these to the front. So first up I have, there. I have my nine shadow, my go-to singular shades. And if I travel and don't wanna bring a palette, this is usually what I bring. Um, this one, let's see here. So this one's in the shade Starry Eyed. Is this still made? It is, so this can stay. Let's check, all my other foils are in this palette here. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna actually stack these really quickly. Okay, some of these are Makeup Geek, most of them are Makeup Geek. Um, I just wanna flip these all out. So clearly these ones that don't have the black backings are not Makeup Geek. The rest of them are, um, all these black ones are Makeup Geek. These are ABH and a ColourPop. So I'm gonna do the Makeup Geek ones first. And I'm gonna pull up ColourPop and take a look. <laughs> wow, that means a lot of these were discontinued. Okay, so these ones that are foiled, I'm gonna flip back over to grab my faves. Because some of these are just really shiny ones or they're pigments, they're not necessarily foiled. Let's see. White light, is it foiled? Pigment eyeshadow foiled. Foiled, foiled, foiled. And this one's actually a colored rain eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take a look at these. I'm gonna keep this one, which is untamed. I'm also going to keep this one, which is curtain call. I do really love both of these up here, which are Charmed and High Wire. Um, I also use this a lot, Nostalgic. I do use this one, just Pegasus. The Neon Green in Limelight. The Purple in Caitlin Rose. I'm not going to hold on to this one or Plot Twist. I will hold on to Masquerade and I will hold on to Center st Oh, Center Stage. Wait, no, wasn't that the one I was looking for? No, Grandstand. Um, I do love that navy blue. Um, this one in Fantasy I'll go ahead and get rid of along with, I will keep one of these two. I will keep... Hmm... They're both really pretty. I will hold on to both, but I might get rid of one in a few minutes. So let's wait a minute and see. Single eyeshadows from ABH. I don't think any of these are gone, um, but I just wanna double check and make sure. Okay, right, so we're gonna look, see all colors. Gosh, okay. So the ABH, we have these. And right off the bat, I know I'm gonna keep this one, which is in Venice. I will also be keeping Tiger's Eye. And you know what, instead of this one from Makeup Geek, I'm gonna hold on to this one from ABH, which is Prussian Blue. I will hold on to both of these, which this one's actually a color pop. This is in Glass Bowl. Hold on, Addie. And this one is ABH Macaroon, or Macaron, I should say. Um, I wanna keep Henna, Addie. Let's see the other colors. This one's in Truffle Glitter. Hold on, <sighs> I'm coming. Atticus, you're such a needy. This one is in, so we've got Gemstone, Star Cobalt, and Truffle Glitter. Let's take a look and see if those are still sold. I'm gonna guess they probably are. Truffle Glitter is still on here. Gemstone is still there. And what was this one? Star Cobalt. Hi, Addie, did that hurt your head? Star Cobalt is also still sold, so that can stay. 
So, so far, those are all the ones that are being kept. These are the remainder of the Makeup Geeks. I think the faster thing might be to just search the website to see if they're still sold. That's a different website. This one in Rockstar I'll get rid of. I will also get rid of Mirror Mirror, but I will hold on to Prism and Stardust because I kind of like these off. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to both, Prism and Stardust. And this one, let me just make sure that Colored Rain is still selling these. No, it is not sold anymore, so I'll go ahead and get rid of it. So let's declutter that one down. Now, my Makeup Geek one. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a little bit harder. I already know this Makeup Geek one is safe. Um, but I feel like a lot of these are gone now. Or potentially renamed because since they rebranded and redid all the pans, everything's changed. And actually, this will be faster on my computer, so I'm gonna grab that. Morocco is still sold. Cabin Fever is still sold, technically. Beaches and Cream is also still sold. Coco Bear, I know, was rebranded to a new name, so this one can stay. Creme Brulee is still kept. Chickadee is still around. Frappe is also still around. Temporarily, this could change, who knows. This is ABH in Blanc. I'm gonna take a wild guess that this one's still available because it's a pretty popular shade. Huh, apparently this one has been discontinued. Okay, this is gonna take me forever. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this, which is NYX. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna visually look at these and just pick ones to go. Not touching any of these, I like them all. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Ugh. So all in all, I'm getting rid of... So I'm getting rid of 67 shadows, 8 face products. That's pretty good. I mean, it puts a, a good dent in this. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to reorganize these a bit. I don't think I'll show that on camera because I'll be here for years trying to figure out how. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and toss these <laughs> or donate if they're not too badly used and then the rest will go in the trash or to friends and family. So that is it. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed down below, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. And as always, if you guys want to see other declutters that I've done, check out the playlist up here and check out the description box down below to see some other videos that might interest you if you enjoyed this. And as always, leave me your questions, comments, concerns, suggestions in the description, in the description, no, in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.